1960, Look Magazine gave me an assignment to photograph Marilyn Monroe. She said, I, hi, I'm Marilyn, and I didn't know what to say. I was just scared. Uh, and I said, well, I'm the big bad wolf. And she looked at me and said, well, you're a little young to be that bad, aren't you? How old are you? And I said, I'm 23. And she said, well, when I was 23, I already made this movie and that movie, but I'm sure when you grow up, you're going to be a lot badder. And that's how it started with Marilyn Monroe. One day before the shooting of the famous picture, she had a conversation with me and she said, what would you think if I jumped in the swimming pool with a, my bathing suit on, but came out with nothing on? When you publish these pictures, I don't want to see Liz Taylor in any of the magazines that my pictures are in. And I said, Marilyn, if this happens, you're already famous. Now you're going to make me famous. And then she looked at me, you know, don't be so cocky. Photographers like you, Larry, can be easily replaced. I saw her the morning of her untimely death. Marilyn ran into the night, into the darkness to escape. She always looked for a safe harbor. The tragedy was that this night, she went into the darkness but never came out. I don't deal in speculation and rumor, I deal in fact. Did I see her with Bobby Kennedy? Yes. Was I in the bedroom be with them? No. I have no idea. I don't believe there was a conspiracy to kill Marilyn Monroe, but I can't prove a negative. She had all these tragedies in her life, and it's as if the world wanted to save her. And I think that helps part of the legend, a legend that we will remember for a long, long time.